So James, as president of QA Checker, is there ever any morning you wake up and you're like, I don't want to look at any Silver Eagles today, and then you sit at your grading desk and you open up that first box and you're like, damn it. Yeah, yeah. So James, I want to talk to you today about Mint State Silver Eagles and MS-70 and MS-69. Now, the recent issue, Silver Eagles, the quality's gone way up, but essentially from the mid-80s to like the early 90s, that wasn't necessarily the case. There's a lot of coins that were just slightly off, and so these coins in 70 bring high value. That's correct. Um, but it seems to me that after looking at hundreds of MS-70 coins that there really isn't a uh, guarantee if you buy a 70 you're going to get a valuable coin. That's correct. So you have two coins in front of you. One's a 1991, uh, an MS-70 graded by NGC, and another is a 1991, an MS-69. These coins are thousands of dollars apart. But what you're going to tell me today and tell collectors today is that you really need to look carefully because that thousands of dollars in value may not be justified That's by correct. the coin in the holder. Absolutely. So, yeah, we have two examples. So as you said, there's an NGC MS-70 and we have an NGC MS-69 that we've QA checked. And the 70 actually has some spots on the coin. And they're fairly obvious spots when you look at the coin. And it's a coin we would not QA check, but it is It's an almost $4,000 coin. And the MS-69 with a QA sticker on it is worth maybe $75 or $80. So when you say spots, let's describe what a spot is on this coin. Yeah, in this specific case, it's a milk spot and milk spots are very prevalent on Silver Eagles, even the current ones, but they're definitely more prevalent on the early ones, as you stated earlier. So it, it's a distracting mark on the coin, and it's very easy to see, and particularly when the marks are in the field or the spots are in the field, they're easy to pick up on. And it's possible that a milk spot did not develop before it was hold. So this this could be something that came later, like when it, it, it could have appeared perfect at the time, but today it's not. That's correct, and I'm certain that's the case because NGC would not have graded that coin of 70 with that spot on it. So I'm assuming that that spot grew on the coin after it was holding. So maybe it wasn't stored correctly, it wasn't stored properly, but it clearly materialized after the coin was graded. So as a, as a market maker in modern coins and silver eagles, when a collector brings you an early Mint State 70 coin that has problems, like milk spots or tarnish that's not attractive. How does that affect the bid you're able to offer? It affects it dramatically. I mean, on a coin like this, you're probably talking at least 30 to 40 percent discount for a spot like that. And I've seen worse. I've seen coins that have spots that are so big, it's, I mean, the coin's not sellable anymore as a 70. And in those cases, there really can't be a good active bid for the coin because it's not a sellable coin. Now, is this a situation where in your experience as a dealer, you can remit the coin back to the service and say, you know, I want great guarantee on it in those spots? Actually, both PCGS and NGC don't grade guarantee Silver Eagles. So they might try to take the coin and, and clean the spot off. Very difficult to clean some of the milk spots off, but there is no grade guarantee. So the end collector is stuck with that coin if it happens to spot. So I guess what you're saying is, uh, it pays for collector if they want to get in this level of collecting silver eagles, investing in them, that they should have an expert help them buy them, even for a modern coin. It's absolutely no question about it. So the, describe for me why this 1991 uh, an MS-69 got a QA check sticker. Yeah, it's a clean coin. It has a couple minor ticks on it that keep it from being a 70, but it is a spot-free coin. We don't sticker any coins that are have spots on them at all, um, and it just has a nice luster, nice eye appeal, and again, it's a super clean coin. Right, so very interesting. So what is the uh, what is the value of a QA check MS6991 Eagle? Yeah, a coin market? like this is a little under $100, so it's $75 to $80 in terms of retail value, and you compare that to the 70 which is almost a $4,000 coin. So quite a difference in terms of value based on that one point grade. And have you QA checked any 91 Eagles in 70? Uh, we have QA checked some, yes. Uh, is that a high pass-through rate or is it? Pretty it's a low pass-through rate. And, I mean, and how about in 69? 69, we've, we've done quite a few of those. So in the 69s, typically it's more of a spot issue. 
normally the grade is pretty consistent with the 69, but it, it really breaks down to the spotting issue. And how has the market started to adapt to the uh, QA check premise? Yeah, the QA check premise, the, the marketplace is accepting it. I mean, we've had record submissions in the last two months. We've seen about uh, about 9,000 coins in the last two months. And if collectors are uh, interested in uh, applying for uh, a membership in the QA check, they can do so on your website? Absolutely. They can do that directly on our website. We have a quality collectors club that they can sign up for. There's an application. And we'll be happy to take any applications from collectors. Cool. Thanks a lot for showing that site, Dave. Charles, thanks so much. We appreciate it.